In this video, we'll take a look at how you can change the default color setting for um, the SharePoint Online Modern sites. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I have a SharePoint Online communication site created here, and it's a default blue and white template. Uh, so what I'm going to do, if I click on a gear icon here and say, change the log, you can see that there's quite a few uh, options for uh, for different color options available, but some of them are not, it may not be something that you want. It may not be your corporate colors. So in my case, for example, if mine's yellow and the only option here is dark yellow um, and I want a light yellow basically with, or my corporate color yellow, uh, obviously some of these options may not uh, work for you. So, and also even if I click customize here, uh, there's limited options here, what I can choose from. Uh, so there's things like accent color and main color, but I can't really pick my own color. Uh, so we'll take a look at how uh, you can update uh, the, uh, the site in this case with your own custom site. Uh, first of all, how do you know that you have a, a SharePoint UI modern site? Um, unlike any other SharePoint Online sites, to create a SharePoint Online modern site, you would go to the app launcher here and click SharePoint. And then from here, you would click uh, create site. So in here you have two options, team site and communication site. And from what we've looked this just a second ago, uh, this was a communication site, which was uh, which we looked at. Let me go back to my site. So there's a couple of tools that we're going to need. Uh, first, we're going to need to download and install um, the SharePoint Online Management Shell, and I'll provide the link for this uh, to download this. Uh, it's basically a tool that you can install. It's a command prompt that you install on your desktop. Uh, very easy and simple install. Just download it, run it, done. The second that, the thing that we're going to need is uh, this theme generator. And a theme generator is basically a little wizard that allows you to pick the colors that you want. Um, I'll provide the link to that as well. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, you can choose what colors you want to um, you you have. Uh, so in my case, let's pick something like this. And I'm, I'm going to leave the body text color to, you know, as dark and then background color to just white. I could change it a little bit more. Let's change it a little bit just, uh, just, just to demonstrate how this all works. And what, what this tool does here generates this code here. And um, we'll, we'll, need, we'll take a look at that call, uh, code in, in a moment. The first thing I wanted to show you is that here's the preview of what, what things are going to look like. right? So this is kind of like preview of various different controls and what they're going to look like with my uh, with the color palette that I've chosen. Uh, so these are all the options and, and toggles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when I'm ready with, the, with whatever combination of colors and, and options that I've chosen, I'm going to copy this particular piece of code, uh, the PowerShell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, uh, a text editor here. And I'll provide this code for you so you can easily copy and paste. But I'm replacing uh, a piece of uh, block here, uh, which which describes this theme and all the colors that I want to I want to use with it. And there's a little command here at the bottom, uh, which uh, provides the name for my new theme that I've created. So in this case, Origami Yellow is my theme name, and everything else here just references this, this code. Um, to install this theme and make it available is the simplest thing ever. Uh, first things first, I'm going to open the SharePoint Online command shell, which I've installed and in, in downloaded and installed earlier. And I'm going to run, first command I'm going to run to authenticate. I'm going to paste a little snippet here and change the URL here to share much, which is my URL. Click OK. Now SharePoint's going to ask me to log in. Okay, so now that I've logged in, uh, I'm going to copy and paste the uh, the code. Okay, I'm going to hit enter here. And just like that, in a few seconds, the command succeeded. There's no errors. I'm going to go back to my SharePoint side, and I'm going to click uh, the gear icon and change the look. And without any refresh, I, you can see that I have origami yellow here. But when I click on it right away, the background's changed. All of the little uh, buttons and controls have changed to how I want them to be. Now, one thing that you will see that there is, uh, this part didn't change, but lots of other elements have changed. If you're happy with this configuration, just click apply. And that's it. 
Now, one of the things that you may want to do as you're experimenting with this look and feel, you may want to delete the, the color scheme. So let's, let me show you how you do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change the scheme to something else. So I'm going to pick this blue here, click apply. And then I'm going to open my PowerShell command prompt. All right. And basically the command is very simple. Remove SPO theme and then the name of my theme. I'm going to click enter. And if I go back to my uh, change the look, I will not see my origami yellow anymore. As simple as that. If you like this video, be sure to comment below and let us know what other branding options you'd like to see.